Start with a blank canvas and insert text layers. This is Figma and it is easy to use. Top panel, you can find all the options to create things. Right panel, you can find all the properties. Add your headings and subheadings. I always love to stylize the text part. Changing the font style, size, character spacing, and colors. I think I should pick different colors for both the text parts. Blue and gray is a nice combination. Let's stick to these. Right panel, select the fill color and test. Stay with what you like. On the right panel, you can also find the effects option. I'm going to use the drop shadow from the effects panel to stylize the text. You know what? Most of us only apply the shadow without altering the properties. Always play with the X and Y values of the shadow and increase the blur to create a realistic shadow. For me, soft shadows give a premium look. It's a personal choice. Hmm, I'm taking more time than expected. Well, I love to spend endless time on the finishing and making designs perfect for my presentations. Anyways, do you love creating PowerPoint? Let me know in the comments section. Just ignore the lines on the canvas. These are just for my reference. I'm adding this blue rectangle on the left. Looks cool. Let's see if I will keep it till the end. Now let's use the text box instead of adding a new one to add branding. Either you add logo or company name. But most of us follow a standard template with already placed logo. But there is nothing wrong in suggesting a new design style in case you are following a pre-filled template. Have you ever tried adjusting character spacing in your text for presentations? It can significantly enhance the overall design, especially for specific headings, subheads, or keywords. Most of us find presentations boring, I know. But if you can think of design as a skeleton and just arrange the placement keeping your content story in mind, you can do much better. I remember a joke. Do you want to hear? Here you go. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts for it. You don't have to laugh. Anyways, back to the tutorial. Here comes the part where you have to highlight financials, numbers, facts, and much more. Here you have to decide how you want to showcase the numbers. Considering the design approach we are following in this tutorial, keep it simple is the key. This is a text-based design where text is the hero or villain. If you see closely, I am not doing something different here. I have added two text boxes. In the top one, I have placed the number and bottom one, I have added the text for the number. Now make the number bigger and text smaller. Also give different colors to theme as per the theme. Once you have done this, just group them. Then follow the same for the rest of the numbers. Well, this is my way of doing this. You are an awesome thinker and can create your own version and style. I hope the video is not boring till this point. Now it is going to be exciting, why? Now is the entry of the hero of the design. It is the pen tool and free flowing style. No rules and no boundaries. Take out the pen and draw a pattern without thinking. I just love this part. Now take the excitement to the next level. Gradients. Fill gradient in the pattern. Under fill on the right panel, you will find the gradient tool. Here, you have to try and test. Use two, three, or more than three gradient stops, but in the end, the pattern should look cool. Keeping corporate style in mind, I'm using the blue and green combination for the gradient color. Do you use gradients in your presentation designs? Try to use if you're not using. Well, let's duplicate the pattern and only keep the outline. Uh, in the outline, fill the same gradient. In the Figma, outline is called stroke. Keep watching the video and you will learn better. I give such important tips in the video. I always look for more. Let's duplicate once again and rotate it and place it in the background of the main text. Trust me, it will look cool, but I'm changing its shape or skeleton. Remember the joke? In the beginning of the video, I explained the effects option on the right panel. I will use another option called layer blur. Do I need to explain it? The name suggests it. Every design is good. The whole game is to be different than others and giving a sense of personalized experience. If you want to make a career in a presentation storytelling, go for it. But you have to very imaginative, an urge to tell and explain stories in a very creative manner. This is different from UI UX careers. For those who don't know, you can use Figma for free. There is a paid version as well, but free will work for you in the beginning. Now I have exported the design to PowerPoint. Actually, I want to add some animation. The pattern in the background of the main text, I want to apply grow and shrink animation. It works amazingly. It is easy to apply. Make sure you select repeat until end of the slide, else it will run for just one time. Also remember to select start with previous and keep the duration long. Now go and relax and enjoy your coffee. I am on Patreon as well. Follow me there, subscribe, like, and share. In the description, you can find the downloadable link. In the next video, I will show you another art and always remember, 
In the garden of life, plant kindness, cultivate joy, and let your soul bloom with love.